Oh, specialization unlock champion. Damn jam, I can't use it. One point perk. Hmm, lovely. Let's get that. Let's get that to strength. And coercion. Level that up as well. All right. Awesome. Let's get the fuck out of here now. That's the wrong door. All right. So we're gonna make our way over to Denerum. Uh, I'm going over there so I can start working on the Drake mail shit. Then that'll be it for the set. <laughs> Wow, we've actually come pretty far in just six sets. Damn. So far, we have been through our origin story, been to Ostagar, we survived Ostagar, went to Lothering, uh, helped save uh, Redcliffe, helped save the mages, found the sacred urns of Andraste herself. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, we also helped save the uh, city from being overrun by uh, the dead. Oof. Alright, let's make our way over to Denerum and see if we can actually get some uh, nice stuff going. Battle! I knew it. I may stop by uh, Lothring off screen, see if it's uh, overrun by Darkspawn or not. Sorry, my recorder is acting up. Are you done? Seems good. Oh, Hi. You have coins, stranger? The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegra can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms. Dwarven made. Alright, cool. I'll buy that for later. Inventory is full. Fuck. You have fine weapon and. Alright then, so we don't need. Nope, nope, nope. Anything in here I don't need? All fruit. Uh, nope. Alright, let's get rid of these. those for later. Ooh, hello. Take those. Yes. Oh god, yes. Potions. Skill in summary. One point spent on a skill, but is... You, what did you say? Oh, I'll take it. Also, I need. Um, don't really have a blood mage, so let's get rid of that. I'll keep that for later. Nope, 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 nope. For later usage. Um, hmm. That should be over for a while. What's up with the uh, awesome coins? Awesome Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. There's two things I'm here for: travel or trade. Understand? Okay. So it was just a random merchant. I I like that. It wasn't a battle. It wasn't anything bad. It was just, hey, merchant. That was actually very helpful too. Alright, the only reason why I'm actually going to Denerim on screen is because I don't know if there's going to be a cutscene or not. Um, when I enter, Den enter Denerim, because I've done so much shit already. Um, I want to drop off these uh, Drake Scales as well, so we can get that said and done. And uh, so you guys can see pretty much he's go him going to spaz out. Because last time I came here with three of the uh, things. All men are the work of our nation. From the lowest slaves 
I'll deal with you later. Hello, little brats. Let's do a quick save, because saving is always good. Left now. Come on. Dark. You bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... You must be kidding. We're done. No... Heron! <laughs> more scales! I can make another set! Dear Andraste, no. I've been thinking every night about what I'd do different. It's all in my head. Dear Heron, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. Perfect, you say? Well, there are a few alterations I could make. I'll close up the shop then. No more new orders. Think of the possibilities. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. We're closed. Your armor isn't done. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to head out. Then I'm going to come back here after visiting my camp. That should give me enough to give me the uh, the uh, penultimate armor set. Okay, so I'm going to explain quickly about this dragon scale set, because um, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> um, the dragon scale set, uh, or the drake scale set, I should say, um, if you want the best possible armor you have to have at least 30 sovereign 30 gold uh, when you first meet him you give him the uh, three Drake scales I think it is and when uh, mentioned give him 10 sovereigns as well this will give you access to the superior version of armor uh, when you come back here again a second time with more Drake scales in this case seven uh, I think you, should, you can be fine with just six um, he'll offer 20, you offer him 20, and he'll go, okay, okay, I'll make it perfect. And we get this. Unfortunately, we closed the armor shop down, down in Denerim, so. Mm. Alright, let's go back. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Alrighty then. I severely, I sincerely hope that uh, I didn't fuck over uh, learning the duels from uh, Isabella, because yeah, well, technically I already learned it, so yeah. I just need to get to um, level fourteen, I believe it is, to get the next uh, specialization point. I'm also going to look around for another sword, that way I can dual wield two swords. It's going to be so much fun. Well, maybe that dwarven longsword I got uh, will help out. Alright, he's done. We're closed. Oh, it's you. The Drake scale armor is done. And it's, well, decent few things I'm rather proud of. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. I feel good, actually. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such-and-such's armor today. We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now please leave. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at it. Wade Superior Drake Skin Gloves. Uh, it's pretty much the same, but it gives me a plus one dexterity and plus ten fire percent. That's nice. What about the boots? So basically, it looks like it gives me a, a buff to my dexterity and a 
double the fire resistance. Okay. Now, since we have this, I'll explain real quickly about that real quickly. <laughs> um, oh, what, you have something to say? Hope you enjoy your armor. I'm welcome. Please. Yeah. <laughs> um, he will give you armor depending on your class. Since I'm a rogue, he gave me rogue-based armor. However, if I was, say, a warrior or a mage, he would give me armor befitting of a mage. The uh, superior would be probably willpower-oriented, or strength, constitution-power-oriented. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's head back to camp, see if anything special happens. Doubt it, so... Although, now that we have Redcliffe people joining us... We should be able to uh, check out some new, uh, check out the new stuff there, and by new stuff I mean that they'll have um, uh, a new supply crate for us. I found out what that's for, by the way. <laughs> um, during the final battle, depending on what you gave to people, you will actually get uh, bonuses for the army that joins you. Uh, the supply crate for the mages require you to give him uh, runes and whatnot. On your order, Grey Warden. Uh, the R was generous, but rushed. Certain areas could see improvement. We're a mercenary force, Warden. Much of our equipment is self-financed. Were you to commit additional funds, we'd upgrade as we saw the need. So basically, he wants money. Three sovereigns. The men are ready to follow you anywhere, thanks to your confident investment. After a while, when you uh, drop off enough points, uh, he'll actually start. Uh, uh, you'll actually start gaining EXP for that. All right. Before we leave, I'm actually going to stop by the Breckham Forest because I want to start collecting some uh, herbs so I can start making potions. Because I am low, and I'm tired of being out of being uh, running out of potions. Indeed. Yes. Besides, the next place we're going to is Breckley and Forest, anyhow. Come on. Brazilian for us, sorry. Andara Natishan, my friend. You have come a long way. I give you the welcome of our clan. These are curious companions you have. Might I ask the purpose of your visit? The Great Wardens? You have joined their ranks? How unusual! Excuse my surprise. I will take you to the Keeper right away. I see we have a guest, and one of our own, no less. This one is from one of our sister clans to the north, Keeper, but claims to have come on behalf of the Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens? How unusual that one of our own should join their ranks. How did such a thing occur? Perhaps so. At the moment, I'm afraid I have little time to spare for long tales. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, perhaps we might introduce ourselves. I am Zathrian, Keeper and Horan of this clan. You are? If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Do not allow our troubles to burden you, though I suspect they may impact your mission. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, 
we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Alright then. That's going to be the next set. But first, we're going to stop by the guy they mentioned and buy shit. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. And dear Anatitian friend. It has been some years since I met Master Island at the last gathering. He is still hale, I hope. That is good to hear. Your clan is more familiar to us than most, since we do not stray far from each other in this land. I met your father, for he was once keeper of your clan. <laughs> you carry many of his features. He spoke at a gathering, telling the clans that more of us need to voyage into the Shemlin world and learn their ways. He would be proud to see his daughter a Grey Warden, I think. Ah, oh, yes, I... I understand the circumstances of his passing were tragic. It is unpleasant to speak of such things. Irabellus. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Alright, so this is the guy that I mentioned earlier that has a bunch of nice stuff for us. Uh, what are these? Long swords. Hmm. Anyway, I'll look at those later. Um, ooh, nice. Okay, so he has an access to, with him, a bunch of recipes. I'll grab all those. 
um, an infinite supply of elf roots. So I'm going to be sitting here for a while buying and making elf root, making potions. So that's going to be it for this set. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the set. It was pretty brutal. But we persevered. Anyway, that's it for this set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time where we hunt werewolves. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hello, and thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this Let's Play, feel free to click one of the two links to take you to a new Let's Play. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.